The idea emerged on a bitter January morning in 2013. A morning so cold one could drive a car across the ice at Bluegill Bay Park Pond. Brad Carger floated the concept, get rid of the weeds that fill the pond during the summer to make fishing easier and at the same time teach residents about the threat to our local water system. Carger is a member of the Rotary Club of Wausau and Marathon County Administrator, whose passion for the region includes his concern that we care for our resources. This is caused by phosphorus runoff that can be prevented if we adopt some simple conservation practices. This is the canary in the coal mine. This is just the beginning. The big old plain, the Lake Wassa will have the same future if we don't learn to understand it and embrace those practices that we know will work. Those practices include limiting and capturing nitrate runoff. Although the Rotary Club of Wausau can't solve it all, it could clean up Bluegill Bay Park Pond and draw attention to the need for preventative measures elsewhere. And so the Rotary Club of Wausau incorporated the Pond Cleanup Project into its centennial commemoration that focused on the vital role water plays in local, national, and global communities. Rotary, we are leaders. We pursue world peace. We prevent disease and create safe water. We improve children's health and development. We provide education and literacy. We build local and global communities. We are Rotarians and we change the world. Each year by midsummer, the pond at the popular park along the Wisconsin River is choked by plants and algae because of excessive fertilizer runoff. In addition, sediment from the river, organic materials, and heavy metals have filled the pond. All that makes fishing frustrating, if not impossible, for children and adults. It's a nice park. She can play, she can fish, you know, keeps her occupied on both ends. Right. Um, gives me a chance to do some fishing, get out in the sun. It's a little frustrating fishing here, though. So many weeds, that's all you drag out anytime you pull your line in. If there wasn't dredging, it's going to get worse and worse. Restoring the pond required a solution. That meant planning, study, and some amazing partners. The club and the Marathon County Parks, Recreation, and Forestry Department reached out to the BA and Esther Greenheck Foundation, a Wausau-based foundation committed to improving the lives of area residents. The foundation funded an extensive study to assess the condition of the pond and the viability of its restoration. Organizing that study and the detailed follow-up was Peter Konotek, Assistant Director of the Wausau and Marathon County Parks, Recreation and Forestry Department. What we're going to be doing is taking out about 14 feet of material. We'll be clearing about 1.1 acres of the pond itself and we'll also be removing 11,000 cubic yards. 11,000 cubic yards. That dumpster you saw when you drove in, that's 2,200 of those. Since the water will be deeper, it will be much harder to grow, sunlight doesn't get through down to the bottom of the pond, hence vegetation doesn't grow, we're able to maintain that fishery for years to come. Armed with a plan and its passion for the pond, Rotarians raised nearly $400,000. The restoration received support through the Marathon County Environmental Impact Fund, Wisconsin Public Service Foundation, the Community Foundation of North Central Wisconsin, Rotary Club members, and many more. Excavation began on a sunny day in late June 2016, so unlike the morning when Carger first explained the idea. And the work was completed by the end of the summer, thanks to the leadership and service of Rotary. Three years planning and two months dredging that will benefit Marathon County residents in many ways for decades to come. The next 100 years, as long as there are Rotarians around, the world is going to be a better place, and I can guarantee that.